Bless you, bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel from Nigeria. You are watching me in Heaven and Hell live program, the one we used to do every Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Uh, the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Please let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, the eternal rock of age, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the only one of Israel, we bless your name, be that glorified and exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our Lord and Savior, we pray this morning according to your word. Now, Sakaba Rama in the Kelia Bazanda. We pray, O Father, O Lord, that you will open the eyes of everyone to see you only and to, to, to understand the deep word of God and to follow your way. We ask you, O oh God, that you will destroy every evil plantations and every act of disobedience in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' powerful name, I have prayed. Amen. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with your soul in Jesus' name. Uh, today, today, we want to talk about uh, about some things which is very vital. About a few days ago, I said it earlier, I've been having this kind of, uh, 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 this kind of uh, unhappy state and mood. I can see, it's, it's like I can feel what God is feeling. I, the, the, the Lord is putting his feelings into my heart what is what is going on in the heart of god i can feel it within me the, the the thought of god i can have it within me it was so great that this morning i was and in fact i was not happy i have to keep praying and praying and praying and praying and praying and praying and why the lord is saying it in my heart that is not happy at all. The people of God has been blinded. The children of God have been blinded. Those who Jesus died for have been blinded. I don't know how to put it because my heart saddens. People have been blinded. I, I, I am so, I, I, I pity the generation we are right now. I pity the generation of the youth, the Christian state, the people in the church right now. Because they are like, they are like, they are like uh, a, 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 a tree that is just being tossed here and there. They do understand the word of God. Today, I want to tell you today that it is time you flee or you lose your life. It is time you run from that thought that is preaching and rising. It is time. It is time you run from the thought that is preaching and rising. It is time you jump out and run with high speed. Or else you, are, you will be damned. God is shedding tears. He's shedding big tears over the church. Over the church. Do you know what is happening now? What is... If you look at the video that I posted about some days ago, you will see that people are truly blind. They are now following their leader. They are following their pastors that is preaching heresy. I want to use this medium to speak to all these people. Christ Embassy. See Dr. Oyaki Lume. 
and also to speak with Joshua Sema and also to speak to uh, uh, this apostle. He, uh, you, 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 the way you are taking people to hell. Opposed to a Roman, the people of now, the, you, you are the what they needed is the way of God. You need to preach repentance to their life. All what you are busy preaching is how to become a prayer warrior. Is praying going to take Christians to heaven? Praying always without doing the will of God. Demons praise, Satan praise. Even people praise. I remember a criminal that was arrested about some days, about some years ago. Evans. When the policemen were interviewing him because he's the king kidnapper in Nigeria, he said something. He said, anytime he's going to an operation, he will always pray. And do you know what? God is protecting him. To allow prayer to make you think that you, you, can, you can have access to God. You, these people, you are destroying the people's lives. You are destroying their lives. You are destroying their lives. By not telling them the righteous and the holiness truth of the word of God. Teaching them how to speak in tongues, how to tarry in him is good. But let them tell them the way of God. When John the Baptist came to the world, he was preaching repentance. When Jesus too came to the world, he also was preaching repentance. The difference between John and Jesus was that John baptized with water. Why Jesus Christ, he baptized with the Holy Ghost. And Jesus Christ came to die for us. That's the difference. But the same message we have preached. It's today that people will be saying that God is sending me to be preaching faith. Faith with that holiness, with that righteousness. I wonder the kind of generation you are producing. Some are saying that they are, they are, they, they were telling me on internet, on the video I made earlier, they said they are, they are people that, uh, they said they have saw, they, 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 that uh, they passed through the training of Joshua Sema. Somebody who passed through the training of Joshua Sema and is having the boldness to be cursing man of God on the internet. It means the people you are producing doesn't have salvation. Some say hey, you are a fool. Some say you are a foolish fool. Something. And you, they, are, they are your product, the product of all of you. The children you are producing are not candidates of heaven. Carnally Christians. Please stop destroying what God has suffered for. Stop destroying the labor of Christ. Stop enjoying Jesus every time. Enjoying him is not good. You are the one destroying the church. Because you have allowed them to believe that holiness is not only the way. It is only the heart that God sees. Meanwhile, the Bible says our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. By the time you begin to twist the word of God, you twist it in the way that they feel like physically nothing. Please, children of God, open your eyes. I pity the people, the generation we have. Because the generation we are, they believe it is time of baptism of the Holy Ghost, not knowing that you can be baptized and end up in hell. God will never change his standard because of anyone. He will never change his standard because of any pastor. 
They say some of you say, you say, ah, Pastor, you are bringing a race. You are bringing division into the house of God. I say, I am, I am bringing division. The Bible says in the book of Second John, let's read it together. Second John. Second John chapter. It's, it's having only one verse. I will start reading from verse 9. Whosoever transgress and abide not in the doctrine of Christ, had not God. He did not have God. Listen to it very well. He that abide in the doctrine of Christ, he had both the Father and the Son. Verse 10. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, he made the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Receive him not into your house. Neither be in God's speed. For he that beat in God's speed is partaker of his evil deed. You see that? The Bible says anyone that come to your house, anybody that you see that come unto you, that doesn't bring salvation, holiness, and righteousness unto you, he said, do not give it him. Do not welcome him. Do tell him, well done, sir. Is there anybody that do it? You are also a partaker of evil that is doing. I pity those Christians who are going to do their churches because their name is not written in the book of life. You are also a partaker of evil. Run out! They are not the way, they are not the right ministers of God. We are not just here for miracles. We are here to stand for in holiness and righteousness within and without in our speech, in our behavior, in our walking, in our everything. We are not here to come and walk. We are not here to come and build churches. We are not here to come and build mansions. We are here to serve God. That is the reason why we are here. You see? That's the reason why you are not here for that. Teaching people how to pray, how to have power. We are not here for that. Yes, we know it is important to pray. Yes, we know it is important for you to receive the permission of the Holy Spirit. Yes. But what of holiness and righteousness? That is the only certificate for heaven. The Bible says, anyone that doesn't have a pure heart cannot see the face of God. And listen to me. You that you believe that God is a loving God, he cannot destroy the whole world. I want us to read something in the book of Jude. Open to Jude. Jude, starting from verse 5. I will therefore put you in remembrance. God wanted to take you back. Though you once know this, how that the Lord have saved, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, after we destroy them that believe not. Don't forget that it is the same God who said Israelites come out of Egypt. After he says Israelite come out of Egypt, they sin against God and God destroy all of them and left only two to enter the, uh, the, the promised land. If he can do that, he can do it now. Verse 6. And the angels which kept not their first state but left their own habita habitations, he had reserved in everlasting shame under darkness unto the judgment of the greedy. You see that? It doesn't finish. Verse 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the city about them in like manner 
giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh as set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of everlasting internal fire. You see that now? If God can do all these things in this time, you believe that he will not burn you with air fire. He will not take you to hell. It doesn't take God anything to take only one person to heaven. Let me tell you the truth. People are already there. Saints are already in heaven. They're serving them for joint over. So if you think that you will not serve God, we're here. They will take you to where you belong to, in hell. We are shouting now. You say that what we are saying is bad. We are coming against your people. Now the church now, we they see that people are having people who are followers. You are a follower of men. You are not a follower of God. You are a lover of men. You are not a lover of God. It's your way to hell. You are on your path to hell. Come back to God. Make sure that the person you are following is teaching you the word of God and is living by the word. It's not just teaching you, but it's also living by the word. Because if you keep doing this, it will eventually lead you to hell. Don't follow man, but follow God. If you see the way people are talking in social media, Pastor will be jumping up and down on the people. People will be clapping and be crying. I wonder where they are going to end up. To. We go change the standard because of you. I pity the generation of today. I pity their works with God. And I pity those Christians that are going to that church. I want to tell you this. If you keep on listening and going to Joshua Selma and uh, Arome, Apostle Arome, you are not doing well and that can lead you to hell. I'm telling you plainly. I'm not saying that they are not minister of God, but they are not bringing salvation. The people of nowadays the generation we are, we need to prepare for the coming of Christ. Holiness and righteousness is what God requires. Baptism of the Holy Spirit is just a gift. It's a gift. Why are you after in gift and leaving the main road? Why are you after in the money and leaving the man who wanted to give you the money? You are about the gift that wanted to collect. You are leaving the man that wanted to give you the collect the gift. Jesus has told you. He said his way is righteous and is holy. If you, Jesus Christ come with the way you are going to all those churches, you are going to hell. Leave that torch. Don't listen to that channel again. Because they are not servants of God. The Bible says anyone that doesn't bring this doctrine of Christ, what is the doctrine of Christ? If you look at Jesus Christ, when he come on earth, you never see him preaching uh, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost every time. It, Holy Ghost preaching was ending. He told him that you need them the power of Holy Ghost to execute what I'll be teaching you all this twice. He has been talking about judgment of God upon humanity. Everything Jesus Christ was preaching was repentance. Every kingdom of God was every time his message. The pastors we have now is always preaching about all our gift of 14. I don't know. When the apostle came to, after the Jesus Christ, the pastor, the priest about salvation, holiness, righteousness. But it's so pity that in our own time, our people, our so-called apostles, general apostles, they will say this is our 
the, the, the generals in who are the generals? Who tell you that the generals? The God see the God see them as generals. I am not here to judge anybody, but I am a wise man. The house of God is destroying. What Jesus Christ labor and cry for is destroying. What are we going to say? Are we not going to say the truth? Nobody is talking. People are not talking. You will never go to heaven without your shame, without your hearing, without your powder, without your not, uh, your soft guy, without your trunk. You will never go to heaven. Even though you are wearing long gown and you are doing like holiness and your heart is destroyed, you are having malice, you are, you are lying, all those kind of, we take you to hell. Repent from your ways. Repent. Repent. Let your name be written in the book of life. You cannot do that and break it to heaven. There is no way you can do it. There is no way. There's no way. You pastor that are meeting them, he's taking them and he's leading them to hell. For do forget that your judgment is waiting for you. God did not ask you to teach them what is behind. Teach them to focus on Calvary. Let them focus on Calvary. Calvary, they have the way to heaven. Don't to take them to hell. It's so painful. People are blind. Their eyes are blind. They cannot hear again. They are looking, but they cannot see. They are hearing what they hear be deaf. I pity the generation of now. Have you not seen in the Bible? We have you seen that God is saying that run after the gift, teaching you how to live a righteous life. What a holiness! Without which no man shall see the Lord. He's a holy God. He will not accept you with your ring. He will use you. The Bible said there are different verses in the house. There are different verses in the house. Some are for importance and some are for useless. Some are for important use. It's the same house we have potty. It's the same house we have room. That is meant to, to, to wipe out debt. It's in the same house. We have TV, we are watching. It's in the same house. We have chairs. There are things that the owner cannot just throw away. See, tomorrow now, I can throw away potty. I can throw away my spoon and buy another one. But for no reason, I cannot carry my shirt to it away. Because it's important. God will use you. But that ever, it will be difficult. Because God cannot change himself. He cannot become related to the devil. He cannot be an ill lord to the devil because of you. The settlement, the fight between God and the devil cannot be resolved because of you. You cannot be using the property of the devil the property of the devil. The Bible says, he said, the priest of this world comment, he comment and he find nothing in me. Ah. He come to come and look at Jesus Christ in things. He find nothing. He find nothing. He find nothing. Nothing. In him. The priest of the war comment, but they find nothing here. Nothing at all. Nothing. He didn't find shame. Fancy clothes was not there. Attachment and is not there. All these kind of things are not there. He find nothing. In him. So my beloved brother and sister, I pray for you today. 
as you are washing me, you will not go to hell. Any pastor that doesn't come to you with holiness and righteousness, you run away from him. He's a child of the devil. It's not me that said it. Second John said it. So let me read it for you again so that you can hear. Anybody, any pastor that doesn't carry the doctrine of Christ, or run away from them. He said, whosoever, listen, now let me start from 10. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, one, neither beat him God speed. It means don't greet him well done. Or bye bye. 11. For he that beat him God speed is particular of his evil deed. If you see what's their television, you see what's their messages, you see, ah, you, see, you are seeing. You are still enjoying their motivation and words. You are not of God. God will see you as a particle of evil. The only solution now, run away from them. It's not about subscribers that I'm looking in YouTube. Bro. No. It's not about people to follow me that I'm looking in YouTube. I am, I am saying what? Jesus Christ is the one that gave me the message. He has gave me this message since when I was seven years old. He told me that people are going to hell every day. He said the errors is too much in the church. He said, I should go and correct the errors. That is what I am doing. Ah, oh, God. Focus on God, he said. Only people, don't look at their miracle. They want to perform miracle. They do this kind of things. It's not a new thing. It's not even they can say Jesus Christ is using the power of base, uh, baseballs. I want to call it. It's because they know that baseball can do such a thing. They all the miracle they are doing signs and wonder. People are crying that the devil does it too. The Bible says the only thing we know them is by their fruit, and the fruit is that if they didn't carry what Christ carried. Don't follow them. You have to understand that holiness and righteousness is the pathway of God. When he came here, his life is an example. You have seen it in the Bible. I beg you in God's name. My heart is bitter. I'm unhappy. Because I don't know what to do. But I'm begging you in God's name. I'm begging you in God's name. Run for your life. Our Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you might have been hearing it before. That is coming, it's coming, it's coming. But this one is coming right now. It's not a lie anymore. It's not even a lie. This one is coming. It's not delaying anymore. Please, when it comes, do allow him to meet you while you are listening to the messages. Do allow him to meet you in their church. Do allow him to meet you as their follower because any of the followers is going to help. I don't care what you want to call me. Call me madman. Call me a fool. But when we get to heaven, we will know who is a madman and who is a fool. When we get there, Jesus Christ will not tell me, ah, oh God, now you be the mad though, or oh, now me be the right person. We go know where we get there. Call me whatever you want to say. Say I'm a fool and I will say what, anything you want to say, say it. But the truth is this. It's not the money I needed. I didn't tell anything about the money. You just follow Kavari. Kavari. Kaf, 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 Kaf. Make sure that your name is written there in the book of life. Revelation says it. He said, and whosoever, his name is now written in the book of life, is cast into the lake of fire. I pray that you will not be cast into the lake of fire in Jesus' name. God bless you. God be with you. I didn't mean Apostle Peter Daniel. Please, I beg you. Ah. Subscribe to the channel and press notification button. I pray you will not go to hell so that you can hear more of these, these messages. God bless you. God be with you. Bye-bye.